One of the websites I chose is the National Geographic Kids website. Um, this website was new to me. I've got the books in my classroom, a lot of them, um, and I've heard of it before, but I didn't realize they had such a great online component to use. Um, so when you first open the website, they've of course got a home screen that has that features a video. If you scroll down, it also offers um, like social studies topics, which I didn't realize. So a lot of really cool stuff. Um, if you go across the top bar, they've got the different um, kind of the different subsets you can click into. So for games, they've got quizzes um, that kind of quiz the kids on different topics. They've got puzzles, um, funny fill-ins, kind of like a Mad Libs sort of thing. So lots of cute little games that would be considered educational that you could um, plug in every once in a while to supplement your different lessons. They've also got videos, which is cool. They've got different categories within that. The videos are only like a couple minutes long. So again, if you're having students research different topics or create um, projects or whatever, I thought this would be a good website to use because you know it's going to be safe videos that aren't, um, you don't have to send them off to research on just any search engine or just anything. You can actually have them research on a safe website like this. It's kind of contained. Um, you can go into animals. They've got different, obviously the different classifications. Like if you click into reptiles, they teach you about several different um, several different types of those reptiles and then load more. They've got all sorts of different animals on here, again, for research purposes, I think would be really neat. Um, on Explore More, that's where they go into some of the social studies topics. So like if you go into history, um, they've got like series of photos, they've got articles, um, all sorts of different pieces of information that, like I said, would be great to use if you're wanting them to be able to research on a safe site that has a lot of great information. So I um, think that this website would be a great online resource for, stu uh, for students to explore with, to find new information on science and social studies topics, experiments, things like that. Um, I feel that it, the audience would be students. Obviously, they would get to um, kind of play around on the website and find these uh, these resources and games and articles and things, but also to present it to coworkers to use in their classrooms as well. Um, I feel that it aligned with the IST standard 2.2.C, which was to model digital tool use. Um, obviously, it's a digital tool that students can use for all sorts of different purposes. Um, and then also with 2.5.B for them to design or to design authentic learning activities for them. Again, I'm really excited to try this out with my kids when it comes to research, and I think that that would be um, a good learning activity for them to, to do with this particular site.